Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today I want to show you an easy way that you could start to put chord progressions together, that you could start to write some songs, and it's kind of like an easy way to help you get from what's here to down to what's here. There's a lot of different ways to write songs. This is just one way, but I find this is kind of an easy way to get going, and it's a good springboard. And if you're having some trouble moving through these chord changes or chord changes in general, right, I can really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer free video lesson on my essential chord changing techniques, tips, and practice exercises. It's an extended play lesson. It's not on YouTube, and it's absolutely killer. I'll also pair it with an ebook, which has more chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. To start off, just find a few notes that sound good together, maybe a little melody. So let's just pick four notes that we like the sound of together. It's all about the sounds, right? So let's say something like this. Right? So all I'm doing is I'm playing second fret on the A string, that's a B note then open A string, then third fret on the low E string, that's a G note, then open A string. Okay, and you have this little four note melody. Okay, and then the next step would be to choose a chord that corresponds with each note. Like we're gonna need some kind of B chord, some kind of A chord, and some kind of G chord. But I wanna choose chords that are a little bit different. Um, I don't want to choose the same old cowboy chords, you know, we want something a little bit different sounding, more exotic sounding. You know, if you just play like cowboy chords, like a B minor, to A, to G, to A, it sounds a little too stock, right? A little too overdone. So we want to find something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exotic. Um, so let's find some cool sounding chords. I tend to write a lot in minor key because I like kind of like the dark kind of minor key vibe better. So we're gonna make for the B chord, or B note, B chord, we're gonna play a B minor type chord, and I like something, how about something like this? Right, that's kind of pretty cool and dark sounding. That's a like B minor 11 chord, there's a flat six in there. So if you know how to play a B minor bar chord, as far as the fingering, just hook your first finger so you're not barring it because uh, you want to play high uh, E string open and B open and then remove your pinky too. Right? So you have this chord. Open high E and that's important, especially that high E string open which we'll get to in a minute. So that's our B, B type chord to cor correlate with that B note, the first note in our melody. B minor 11 with that flat 6. Now we need a, an A type chord. What if I just remove that first finger to you know, play an open A note, and leave the rest of the chord the same. That sounds pretty good, right? So my second and third fingers stay down as I just take that finger off, and I have like an A 13th chord with a sus4. Again, notice high E string open, and that will be for our A chord. Then with our G, for our G chord, what if I just add that G note to this chord? Third fret low E string. There we go, and that's like a G6, again with that high E string open. Now with this chord, I'm muting the A string. I'm letting this first finger kind of flap over, fall over. So it mutes the A, G6. And for the last A chord, what if we play something like this? That's an A suspended second. So if you know an A major chord with three fingers here on the second fret, A major, just remove that third finger, A sus2, open I, E, and B. Right, so chord one, Chord two for our A, chord three our G, four, A sus two. We got a really cool sounding progression already, right? And hey, if you got a sec, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep the content coming, right? And ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when you, we have new lessons posted. Leave a comment below also. Let me know what you think of this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Uh, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Now, did you notice how I left the high E string open. I wanted to find chords to leave that open, and here's why. Let's say I play this, and you could strum it, you could pick it, but let's say we kind of do some picking and strumming with that progression, something like this.
right? So I'm picking and strumming it, but with each chord, I go to the high E string. On the A, see, I'm getting that high E in there, G, same thing, in the picking pattern, and even the A sus too. Because what that high E string does, or that high E note there, is it anchors that chord progression, ties it together with each chord, and that's very pleasing to the ear. Now that we have our, you know, our progression, um, there's so much you could do with that. You could strum it more and pick it. Okay, there I'm strumming it more. But it all kind of goes back to that four notes. Right? And now the ideas are firing in my head. I could use that as a verse or an intro, even a chorus perhaps. And then what I hear is as I go further into the song or into that progression, maybe I start to build it up on that last A sus two chord and then maybe I do the same progression, but this time I use power chords and I would probably use like a distorted electric guitar take it into like a bridge or a guitar solo section and the chords would sound like this if I use the power chords That could be building up into that bridge section, and then I hear like a guitar solo over those chords, you know? Right? And then I have all these ideas kind of firing off. You know, now I have verses, maybe a chorus, a, a bridge section. Uh, guitar solo. So give this a try. Let me know what you think in the comments, right? Stay tuned. I got lots more coming up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel because that's really important as it really helps us to keep the content coming as well as ring that subscription bell and you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And also don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Get my free video lesson and ebook. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Stay positive. Keep having fun with it and I'll see you in the next lesson. Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Enjoy the journey, rock on.